God is so supernatural. I mean, he is just so supernatural and so amazing. It's just, he's just so much something else. I was just, um, my, I was just out in, in the yard and, uh, some of my, I was just out there doing some, you know, putting, just moving some things around cause we had some, some work done. So, uh, the, uh, they had moved my garden back to where it was, but some, but not all of them. So I just went out there to water and just try to, you know, just do whatever I needed to do out there. But before, mind you, before I went out there, I had been feeling, um, you know, just sneezing, having these different uh, allergic reactions or whatever. So I took an allergy pill before I went out. So I just knew that I was just going to be out there five ten minutes oh my god it was like I was out there for about three hours so because my uh neighbors their youth uh and their friends were out there and they were you know barbecuing and enjoying themselves or whatever so I was off almost finished with what I was doing but I could always because like a couple of times I could feel God nudging me to say something. I was like, but Lord, if you want me to say something, then you don't have to tell me what it is that you want me to say. You know, because I, I knowing them, I mean, I, and you know, um, anyway, nonetheless, I was just saying, if you want me to just open, I'm going to open my mouth and you just feel it or you just say what, what you want me to say or you, whatever. Because I knew, you know, I knew that they, they're unbelievers or they're, think they're believers but they sin you know willfully sin and 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 whatever and intentionally sin so I was like so anyway so I like I said I'm out there doing my thing and stuff so I was getting ready to go I said but I went on to put my hose away and everything and uh whatever I was doing but before I left so I said excuse me guys let me have let me have your attention I want to say something to you before I go in, please. So I had everybody's attention. They were looking and everything. So I was like, do you guys know who Jesus Christ is? And do you know what Jesus Christ's mission was? Um, what else did I say? And of course, they was like, yeah, we, you know, we know who Jesus is. And they said that he, to save our, to save the world, you know, came to save the world. And then they said, from our sins. I was, so, you know. And um, then I was saying, uh, you know, I don't know, remember what exactly I said, but anyway, um, uh, uh, one of them, he, he felt like, because I was saying that, you know, if we sin, sinners are going to hell. And yeah, that's what I was saying, stuff like that, like sinners are going to hell. Those who, you know, and then I was talking about belief because he was like, I believe God. I believe in God. I said, well, belief, that belief means much more than just believing uh, so-and-so has on a black shirt with white writing or something like that. I was telling him, belief is much more and in depth than what it says, than, you know, than what you think it is or whatever. I said, believing means that I believe him. I love him. I don't, I hate sin. I, you know, I'm, I obey him. Da, da, you know, I was just, you know, writing these things down to him or whatever. And then he got a little offensive. He was like, so you don't sin? You mean tell me you don't sin? You know, whatever, you know, you out here, you better than everybody. You th- you, th- you you putting everybody down. But, you know, you know how people are when they get offensive, uh, offended by the whatever, you know, whatever. So he would say, I said, no. I said, let me clarify something. Um, I don't willfully sin. I said, yes, I'm a sinner saved by grace. Of course, I, I do sin, but I don't intentionally sin. And um, I was saying to him that, um, oh, gosh, what was I saying? So I was just, yeah, so he was, oh, so he was like, you you putting people down. And, and I said, this, and no, this is what I was telling him. I said, no, this is not my gospel. This is what, this is Jesus's gospel. I said, I'm, I said, I don't have a, a gospel. I, said, I don't have a, a leg to stand on without God. I said, I don't have anything to, to say to you uh, apart from the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ, you know, like that. And I let him know we're not fighting. I said, uh, you and I are not fighting um, or whatever. 
And so, you know, we had a long conversation. He was like, show me this, show me where it say that. You know, because he was talking, I was telling him what sins, what the sins are, like the sins of the flesh and different sins are. Um, I was just not really sh I was showing him. I made him read it for himself because he was also saying that if, oh, this is uh, a big one. I mean, it was really, uh, it was really wonderful um, to speak to the youth um, and whatnot. What he was saying, uh, but I can tell, you know, I knew that there was a lot of correction that needed to be going on, a lot of reproving and whatnot. But he was saying that, uh, you know, God died, that God already forgave us. That's why he died for our sins. He, he forgot. I said, no, honey, there, I said, a lot of people will leave that, but that's not, it's, you know, you got to go further than that. You have to ask God for forgiveness. Why well, I got to ask God for forgiveness? He already forgave me. I ain't going to keep on asking for forgiveness. He He forgave me. And, and I'm going to sin again. I, I know I'm, you know, we all going to sin again. So why we got to keep asking for forgiveness? I said, and whatever I said, because I was telling him, you even got to go further than that. I said, you got to go further than that. Uh, even that, uh, asking forgive, for forgiveness. I said, you also need to repent and turn away from the sin. But I was showing him uh, First John and showing him, um, you know, it made him read it. And he was like, oh, I said, see, you got to confess your sin to be forgiven. I said, you can't just, uh, I was skipping around. I was like, you can't just uh, fornicate with your lover and then turn around, you know, then how talking about I'm a, saying I'm a Christian, but I fornicate with my lover and just keep hopping around doing all kinds of mess, committing adultery, lying, stealing, and doing everything. I said, You can't just keep doing that. You have to ask God for forgiveness. I said, You really can't be just doing that. I said, Because when we love God, we don't do that. So I went into the new, te you know, showing him what the new commandment was. Uh, we went into, the, the, I said, the sins of the flesh. We went into uh, Romans. We went to Romans. We went to Galatians. We went, to, you know, different places and stuff like that. But he was like, oh, but I loved the way he was getting it. He was like, oh, man. He was like, I'm so glad because he was, he, was, he was against me. He was, you know, he was really bucking up, you know, bucking back and whatever, uh, saying different things and, and that. But after the after after he was reading that stuff for himself, he was like, "Oh man," he was like, "I'm so glad you showed me that." Wow, he was like, "Thank you," you know. He was like, "Thank you." I said, "See, this is what I'm talking about. Lots of people believe like you believe. They believe they can continue in sin. They believe that you know all these different different wild wrong things, and they think that they're going to heaven, you know. And I told him, I said, "People are going to hell, you know, and whatever." So we had a really good conversation because it was asked me, come about, you mean tell me, come about, I, I watch so and so, I watch so and so, they preaching about Jesus. I said, no, honey, they're not preaching about Jesus. They they don't even mention, you sit there and listen you, and, and tell me and write down how many times that they mention Jesus or teach anything that Jesus taught. You don't even know what Jesus taught. You just listening to them and you believe that what they're saying is what Jesus taught and what Jesus stands for. And it's totally opposite. You know, it has nothing to do with what they're talking about. It don't have anything to do with God. He was like, wow. He was amazed, you know. And people, they was, the rest of them was kind of listening. Some, some was uh, ignoring, or not ignoring, but they was just kind of went back to whatever they was doing. But a few were listening. And uh, inter um, interacting, and then uh, some of them came in late, so they didn't even know what the heck I was talking about. Period. But anyway, it was amazing. So, and the amazing thing was, normally when I take this antihistamine, hey, chai. That's why I just knew. I just knew I was gonna be out there like five, ten minutes. I was gonna water and move some things around, and that was it. Because I knew that once these pills kicked in, it was going to be over for me. You know what I mean? I was just going to let it take its course. Um, so, I was so amazed. I'm out there three hours, you know, doing the garden and talking to them. Ministering to them and stuff like that. And I didn't feel sleepy. Not one time. I was like, oh, man, this... I was like, this is nothing but God. This is his supernatural 
power indeed because now that I've come in and cleaned myself up and and laid down and or sat down, then the the pills want to make me a little drowsy again. Uh, so I'm like, that's nothing but God that let me be on my feet like that and ministering to those youth. And uh, yeah, that was nothing but God and His supernatural power. I was amazed. I was like, uh, uh-uh, uh, uh, uh-uh, because I'm only really supposed to take one of them. Um, but I took two because I just really wanted to, because I was sneezing and I was like, what in the world is going on with me? You know, I know this not the first time. What happened was, I think <laughs> I'm poisoning myself with uh, either drinking lemon water or, I mean, not lemon water, excuse me, either drinking the uh, basil water or either the... Uh, Spearmint. I think it's the basil because I don't normally drink basil water. This is my first year, you know, using basil water. Um, I always use spearmint or peppermint or, of course, cucumbers, strawberries, lemons, or something like that, or orange. So I think it's the basil that's been affecting my uh, system like this. But nonetheless, I give glory to God because... What happened was really, really amazing because I got yeah, it really become hostile, you know, really hostile. So I, and whatever, but God turned that thing around for good. And the young man, he was like, man, I gotta be in my word more, and I gotta be asking for forgiveness because he thought that you would even have to ask God for forgiveness. I was so glad, I'm so glad for the word that we, you know, we have a way to show people, you know, what it is that. God wants from us and whatever. It was really amazing. It was a very amazing time. And I just really give glory to the, to God. And I pray that you guys, along with our team, will be play, praying for those young people because their eyes need to be open because a lot of the people are like that. They think that they can just call themselves Christian, de- you know, deem themselves Christian, and they can just do all manner of evil. You know, all kinds of sins of, and can commit all kinds of sins and it's okay or whatever. So I'm really, really grateful for that opportunity. At another opportunity, uh, you know, larger, larger groups like that, because this was a large group of about 20, uh, 20 or so youth. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm happy for that. Very, very grateful for the opportunity because I knew that I couldn't even just walk back into the house without saying something to them. I was like, because <laughs> I could like two or three times while I was walking around, I could hear God like, mm-hmm. you need to say something before you go. You need to say something before you go. You need to say so. I was like, okay, well, I'll say something, but you got, you got to tell me what it is you want me to say. You know, I don't mind. But I, it was just, it was awesome. And I really thank God for those young people for even listening. But I was telling them it's their choice whether they accept Jesus Christ or if they listen to even what I have to say. And I told them it's not my gospel, though. It's, God, it's God's gospel that I preach. And I was telling them not to have no part or partake in the sins of of another man or whatever. Don't partake in these sins. I said, any time that you sit there listening to false gospel, you partaking in that person's sin. You know, because he was at, because one the young man asked me, um, so you don't listen to so and so now? I was like, no. He was like, why? I said, because they are false prophets. What? Because he was calling me a false prophet. He was like, what you, 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 giving them the wrong message. You see, because he was talking about, you, you can't be just telling people they going to hell. That's the wrong message. I was like, well, I'm not telling you that you're going to hell. What I'm saying is people who do these particular sins are not going to go to heaven. You know what I'm saying? Where he was like uh, bucking, you know, and everything and resisting and everything. But I'm sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry for that. Forgive me. But, uh, yeah, that was, um, it was quite amazing anyway. So I guess that was it. I wanted to say more, but, you know, I need to 
lay down or whatever. And forgive me for that, y'all. And I hate that nonsense. But anyway, love you very much. And please be helping us to pray for individuals, for the youth, and for people who believe something that's different. Oh, another young man, one of them was, uh, he was uh, Muslim. He was telling me he was Muslim because I was giving them our tracks or the gospel tracks uh, that uh, Sister Sharon sent, the ones that say, um, uh, to you know, uh, peace to God, the way Oh gosh, what do they say? Anyway, peace. Uh, how to the pathway to peace to God, or how to know the way to peace with God, or something. I can't remember how it goes, but you know what I'm saying. So I gave gave some of them out to them. I asked them if they wanted it. You know, you don't have to take it if you don't want it or whatever. And I gave some of them bracelets as well to never quit, never give up bracelets. But uh, I was asking one guy. I was like, Do you want? Uh, can I give you one of these, or would you like one of these? And he was like. He was like, oh, I'm Muslim. I said, <laughs> laugh. I said, you, 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 I said, God loves everybody. I said, it doesn't matter. You know, that don't, I said, that don't matter if you would like one. And if you want to, you know, read this later or, or whatever, you, you're welcome to it. He was like, oh, I'll take it. But I was thinking about it, just like I was talking about people always running around. They say they are Christian, but they don't, they're not a bona fide Christian. He say you're Muslim, but. He, I mean, what does that mean? You're a Muslim. That does, what does it really mean? You don't adhere to anything. I mean, what? Do you, or unless you adhere to going to a, some temp mosque or something to pray, or, or you, you know, you observe certain days, but you, you're not really. You, you're a sinner is what you are. <laughs> you know, I mean, you, 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 you your mouth is foul because he was using foul language. You know. Your mouth is foul, you know, uh, you're probably a fornicator, you, you're a drinker, you know, a reveler, because they were partying, you know, all kinds of stuff. I was like, you know, I, mean, I didn't say this to him, but I was, just, I'm just saying, when he said he was Muslim, I laughed, like, that don't mean, that don't mean nothing from, from what I'm looking at. You, you, you're not a, that don't mean anything, you know, just like people who call themselves Christians, it don't mean nothing. They still are sinning and lying and cheating and, and doing all manner of things. They have no regard for the blood of Jesus at all, you know. So anyway, I just came on to tell that little story. I'm sure there's more things I wanted to say, but it's okay. So anyway, but I did pass out a, a lot of those and uh, and whatnot, but just be praying for those young folks. Love you very much. Have a great day. Bye-bye for now.